Hey, what's up guys? It's Marble here, and today we have an advanced indent layer style tutorial. Um, it's just going to make it look like realistic, so it's kind of an advanced one, instead of just um, a drop shadow. I mean, instead of just an inner shadow, because I've seen a couple tutorials on YouTube trying to think of creative ideas to do. And I came across a couple, they just had an inner shadow, so I... And my internet was being really slow, so I just um, had a l video loading. So I just kept, um, experimented while I was doing it, I came out with this. Um, I have a little dip for an extra. And actually, the video I was trying to load was this video, which was MDC's Advanced Indent Text. And we actually had the same exact idea, like, I'm not even lying about that. So let's just um, get started. I actually have a different, a little different um, than him, but we can just get started by deleting those layers. Um, just c come in um, to Photoshop. If you want to know the, f the pixel format that I'm using is 1280 by 720, and then I have I think I have the resolution to 300. If I can get this off my screen, this will be good. All right, all right. So I'm just gonna bring in text, and the font I'm gonna be using is Beavis New. And just resize it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it like that. All right. So we just want to get rulers out to get it in the middle. All right, there it's in the middle. Now we're gonna come into layer styles, but before we do that, we're gonna change the fill to 45%. Then down here at the bottom, the FX tool, just click on that. Then select drop shadow. And drop shadow, we're gonna change the color to white the blend mode to normal and the opacity to 30 percent and right here for angle uncheck use global light and change the angle to 90 degrees then for distance we're going to change it to 1 and size to 0 now this is just going to give us a bottom glow because say my mouse say that this is already have an indent effect on it looks perfect and realistic say that my mouse was a light it would be shining down on this and it would be seeing this the bottom parts of it which would cause reflections but at the top where it couldn't see it it would be causing shadows so we're gonna go for a realistic look um, with the inner shadow this is gonna make it look realistic and cast shadows um, we're gonna change it to blend mode to normal opacity to 70 no yeah 75 percent just leave all of this the same and but uncheck use global light and change this to 90% and the distance to 3 choke is 0 and size is 5 and that's it for layer styles and now we're just going to duplicate this layer hide th that layer that you just duplicated right click clear layer style and we're going to come into the text tool and change the color to white and go up to the top where it says filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you're gonna have to rasterize this. Rasterize, sorry. You're just gonna click OK. And here we have the radius, we're gonna have it to 0.8 pixels, no, 8.0 pixels, which is gonna give us a nice glow. And right over here on the layer that you duplicated, the text layer, this one. You're going to hold Command or Control, whatever you have, Mac or PC, and you're going to click the thumbnail image or the T right there, same thing. And then you're going to come back down to the to this glowing text and click Delete. Or you can get the eraser, but Delete's really accurate. And then you're going to come back in to show this layer by clicking the eyeball. And and make sure that this is... Oh, no, no, don't do that. Um, come in Command T, and then get your ruler down and if you don't oh actually that's kinda of screwed up if you don't have your ruler um, just put it in the middle If you put, just put the ruler in the middle if you don't have rulers you're just gonna come up here to window and click I think it should be in here anyway you're gonna click command or control R which will bring it in right here um, hold on there's me Um, let me see, so we can actually see it, because I'm not sure if you guys can see this. 
change it to like uh all right there now you can actually see my reload since I changed it to blue and since we did that we're gonna get our eraser tool select the glow line click click so it's the flat line on top of the circle click so that's in the middle of this one click go to the other side align that hold shift and then click again and then that'll just erase a straight line and then you can click view clear guides and that's just gonna get rid of the erasers and that's gonna give us the nice glow for the blend mode for this layer you're gonna put it to overlay and that's it for the tutorial um... it's a great end effect um... sometimes i i also right click convert to smart object then rasterize and then even add a little drop shadow at the bottom so it's even kinda down there um... i just don't like doing that all the time so um, you can if you want, if it looks good, or you can just duplicate it and add a little drop shadow, but I don't like doing that, so I'm going to be teaching the way I like doing it. And also, if any of you guys are making intros, um, I'd love to have an intro. Um, I really do not feel like paying for one. Um, I will if I have to, if I like it, but if any of you guys want to make me an intro, that would be great. I'll subbox you for something, or we can work something out. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um... I'm going to be uploading more tutorials, like, because I got tons of requests over the weekend, like, video borders and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing a video border tutorial. And then, for 500 subscribers on my channel, it says that I'm uploading, um, where is it, right here, um, GFX pack and tutorial coming, um, since I hit 500 subscribers, um, I'm a little bit late, but I will be having a Cinema 4D pack. Um, because you guys wanted the Cinema 4D pack with light rooms, text effects, everything. Um, I did a bunch of materials and everything. So look forward to that. Um, I'm also going to be posting a lot this week because I'm really not that busy. So other than that, guys, peace out.